Hello YouTubers, this is Ellery here and I'm going to show you how to install Premise, a free home automation program under Windows. So right now I'm running Windows 8.1. So first thing, we open up an inter internet browser and we go to, just do a quick Google search for this site here. Cocoon Tech Premise Wiki. And then the Premise Wiki will come at toward the top and just scroll to the very bottom. So you'll need this DLL file and you'll also need to download the program itself. So first we'll grab the DLL file. So notice I'm already logged in here so you'll have to create an account with Cocoon Tech to be able to download the stuff. But So you click download and save file. And same thing with the zip file. Download, save file. All right. So I've already downloaded these before, so I'm not gonna wait for the for all that to finish. Yep. So we'll go down here and so first thing we'll grab the DLL zip file, and we're also gonna grab the premise zip file. So I'm going to paste these anywhere you want. I'll just put them on the desktop for now. Alright, so let's extract both. And we're going to extract the executable. And it's just asking to replace all the files since I've already done this once. And I already have a folder on my desktop, so all right. So there is one little catch you gotta go on the MSI file. Just make sure that it's the compatibility set is set for previous versions of Windows. And also on the EXE file, you go into properties compatibility. Make sure you've checked run this program as administrator. And I've been using the service pack 2 option and it installs fine with that you can probably use service pack 3 for XP for the compatibility mode also this is just because premise is such an old program and basically Motorola just quit developing it and made it available for free and so since they quit spending money on it they haven't gone and created it a new installer or unfortunately so you got to do these steps all right, so we're just going to go ahead and you can click on either of these two guys now. Click next. And since I already have it installed, it's given an option to repair or modify. So I'm just going to click the repair. Should be the it will be the exact same steps you're going to do for the most part. So just click yes. And it'll go through and install pretty quickly and then you click finish. Alrighty, so we're done with that window. Now we're going to go grab this DLL, so we'll just copy it to the clipboard. Open up Task Manager and go to Services. And we're going to stop the premise Sys server. So Sys is the engine that basically runs premise, so we're going to go ahead and stop that guy. Oh, I'm going to stop both of these still says stopping give it a second here and we're going to stop the mon ps monitor too so what the ps monitor does it'll set there is kind of a watchdog service so if this top pr kernel service crashes this ps monitor service will hopefully restart it and everything will be hunky-dory but that's what it's supposed to do i've never actually had it crash so i don't know i'm assuming it'd work work fine for you but so now we're going to go in to wherever a premise installed. So if you notice, go back to Cocoon Tech, this user123 has listed two locations. So premise will be in one of the installed under one of these two. So since I'm running x64, I gotta go to this program files x86 directory. Alright. So let's see here. The name of this guy was PSYSUI. 
So we're going to go find the... And I've already done this once before, as you can tell. But, so I'll go rename him. You know, d rename the file extension to something like... dot back or dot old or whatever you want to use. All right, so we're gonna paste the new new one in here, and there it is. All right, so now we can go restart the premise services. Oh, before we do that, one other thing. So this file you see here, this executable named sys. So you want to go ahead and go into its properties and compatibility. Make sure you got run this program as an administrator checked, and click OK. And, and what this guy does, that's actually a premise builder. And then the, this guy is the actual service that runs premise, and that's the monitor service there. So go ahead and restart the services here. Yep, so they're both running now. And then we're going to go, I like to put a shortcut you know, wherever you want, but just put a shortcut on the desktop or something for it. All right, and so you should see this, and this will always pop up. You can turn off user account control and make this go away, but I'd rather just leave it on. And so this is the... this thing here, local computer, so that's the actual local installation of the premise service I've running this PR kernel. So if this service is stopped, that guy won't show up. So that's why I made sure to tell you guys to go ahead and start him. So if you don't see anything here, go make sure check under services and make sure that guy's PR kernel is running. And I've already actually created a username and password. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here and then I'll do another one. I'm going to go reset this test installation of Premise so I can just show you how to use the wizard and finish the initial setup. All right, guys, I'll be back in a bit.